Oh yeah, and before I forget, I'll put this at the beginning of the video. Speaking of filmmaking, I have recently produced my own film, which is called The Trip 2. Most of you know The Trip 1. It's on my YouTube channel if you don't. I'll put the link. Mm -hmm. I'll put the link in the description and also the cards above here. That was the trip. Now I'm make I made I'm making I made the trip too and the teaser trailer is out now. Mm -hmm. I'll play some of it right now. We are making a quick stop. Five minutes only. Isn't this funny? Wait. Did you plan this? I've seen you and your friend on quite a few camera. There is a bus that passes here every day. I'm in. We are all in. Yeah. What do we have here? The latest recruits from the midnight rounds. Turn them first thing. Tomorrow. So yeah, that's some of it. If you want to watch the full teaser trailer, please follow the link in the description. Damn, I will have a lot of links in my description today. But yeah, really excited about it. And subscribe if you want to stay tuned. Just like to keep up with me, guys. Subscribe. Well, you know you been my day one, my day one. You was there before I came up, I came up. welcome to or welcome back to my youtube channel chipe gunalimba is my name april 2700 is my youtube channel and subscribe is what you guys should do so before i get into the video i'd like to advertise my brand this top i am wearing guys is from my latest collection if you don't know apart from a filmmaker i'm also a fashion designer i have a clothing line called moods so if you don't follow moods please follow moods on instagram and facebook and yeah get yourself one of these pieces what's the title of this video how to make money as a filmmaker in zambia i just realized that in zambia a lot of people ask me this question like but how do you make money as a filmmaker because apparently it's not such a practical career in my country so yeah without further ado i will get into the video I've got like um, 12 points that I've written down. This is based on my experience. If you have contrary experiences, I have disclaimed that is none of my business. I'm talking based on my experiences. So the first point is work for free, guys. I know this sounds like the opposite of what this video is about but if you are expecting to just like arrive on the scene and start making money as a filmmaker in Zambia I don't know about other countries it's highly unlikely filmmaking is a very practical thing it's very little theory very very little theory and even the theory it has at some point has to be applied and is connected to it being applied practically so yeah you can't just arrive on the scene and say i'm a filmmaker you need proof you need proof of your work you need like a portfolio and something to connect to your cv so the only way in the beginning you can build this is by working for free so yeah in my experience um i only earned my first income from film in 2021 and i started film seriously in 2019 so that's two years after I started film and I had done a lot of stuff in those two years and I only got my first income guys, my first income in 2021. My second point on how to make money as a filmmaker is build a portfolio which is connected to my first point, working for free. So like while you're working for free, please, this is not in vain, it's not just for the sake of it. Take note of everything that you do, put it on your CV. Have works of art you can tell people and you can use in job interviews or when pitching an idea. It will be very valuable if you have a portfolio. And yeah, who knows? If you're a producer, maybe you can sell something from your portfolio. 
and if you're an actress that would be good also you can use it as reference for people who want to hire you and yeah if you're a makeup artist same you still need references if you're a set designer you still need references like every job in filmmaking depends heavily or relies heavily on a portfolio and past work my third point would be building connections so yeah in my other video the dark side of the film industry in zambia i mentioned how the film industry relies heavily on connections so that was the bad side of connections now i'm here to tell you the good side of connections or the, or the good type of connections so yeah the type of connections i mean are working relationships for example i'm on set and i'm working as a camera operator and i have fellow camera operators and there's a director and there's a sound guy when i want to do my film I will need these people. There's no way I can have a set without these people. So the connections I build working with other people will help me make my own films as a producer. It will help me recommend these people when I actually have maybe a project that is funded. And if they have a project that is funded, they can recommend me and I can actually earn something through those connections. So those are the type of connections I'm talking about. The type that you earn through other people seeing your work as a filmmaker. The fourth point is keep in practice, which is also connected to working for free. So I'm sorry, the first four points are basically me telling you to work for free. But there are like 12 points, so hold on, it gets better. <laughs> so keeping in practice will increase your portfolio, will keep your name on screens whether it's a mobile screen whether it's the television screen whether it's a computer screen it is vital as a filmmaker to have your name appearing on the screen keep in practice how can you keep in practice um passion projects is what i'll say because obviously there won't be always a deal a funded deal the projects are like contractual work they are not very consistent so when you're not getting deals contracts how do you keep in practice passion projects, fellow filmmakers if you're in the community, there's always someone working on something, whether it's a short film, whether it's a feature film, whether it's a web series. Based on the connections that you have built, you will see your friends working on things and they might need your help here and there and that's how you keep in practice. Obviously you don't just attach your name to every single project you see because you you want to keep in practice you also now have to use your 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 brain is that what they call it your mind your brain your judgment your wisdom to decide which projects you will and will not get and will not get involved in so the fifth point film festivals how do filmmakers make money through film festivals uh let's say you've made a short film or a feature film or an animation it could be anything and what next you want to go the film festival route so you enter film festivals how can you make money through this well a film festival is kind of a gamble to be honest because you only make money or you only be likely to make money if your film is really good which it should be if you're confident enough to enter a film festival the film industry in zambia is not doing so bad in terms of film festivals actually last year it was um, Maria Crisu by Paul Willow. Previously, before that, I know of um, Daliso also did well in film festivals, and much of its success was like out of Zambia. And that's the thing about festivals, film festivals, much of their success is outside Zambia. And that's where actually you can actually even make money from it. So, yeah, film festivals are definitely a way you can make money with your film, but you just have to really make sure that you've brought your A game in that film. The sixth point is um, self-distribute. So normally, which I think is the obvious way of making money as a filmmaker, is to create content and sell it to a broadcasting channel like ZNBC, Movie TV, Zambezi Magic, and stuff like that. But it's not always the case. Not everyone will be given an ear, not everyone has the connections to do that and not everyone will just have that opportunity you, you get what i'm saying 
So the other way I would suggest as an upcoming filmmaker is to self-distribute. How can you self-distribute? Um, through social media channels like um, Facebook, YouTube. Those are the channels I know, I'm sorry. If there are any other channels. I don't think Twitter works for such things. But I know Facebook, Watch and YouTube are very good for such things. Utilize these things. Like sometimes you can just create content for the sake of getting an audience. Like proving to... A broadcasting channel like look at the audience look at the number of people I can I can chime in like use that as your leverage to go to the table and crack deals with these broadcasting channels for example um Kazadi films and the, the, we all know about the divorce club they started on Facebook and for a while it was free for everyone to watch and everyone was like glued on it obsessed with it and they use this to leverage the fact that they had an audience and yeah now people are paying for it because what first they did it for free which brings me back to my first point work for free but obviously in the long run i think they always had a plan but it's the plan still started with doing it for free because even to get the attention of netflix most uh, people get the attention to youtube and yeah, maybe you find that a production or a film was bought by Netflix after being produced independently. It's very important to get your work in front of an audience as a filmmaker. And we can't always be given the opportunity to do that for money. So yeah, in the beginning it's very important to just like have an open mind and put the work first and take a gamble. Filmmaking is a gamble. And yeah, we will never run away from that fact. It will never be a safe, 100% safe bet. So yeah, if you're a filmmaker, just like keep that in your head. The seventh way to make money as a filmmaker. This one is more certain and it's more business-y than the rest. The rest is more about passion. But if you're like, oh, to hell with passion, I need money. This one is for you. Um, Renting equipment like invest in equipment filmmaking relies heavily on equipment you can make a film without a camera without sound equipment without lighting that all those things lights camera action you need those things and equipment is not cheap and most filmmakers in zambia i'll tell you this do not like investing in equipment but the power is in equipment okay i feel like filmmakers who don't invest in equipment well, you can never really get rich as a filmmaker. Like, all your profits, business-wise, will be cut if you don't invest in equipment. Because imagine you're a producer and you're making a film and you have to rent equipment from somewhere else. Most of your budget will go to the rent or hire, to renting or hire of equipment. And equipment is expensive to hire because it's expensive to buy and... Yeah, there's a lot of risk in renting it out so you're going to have to pay for that and you'll find that renting equipment for like more than a week will actually come to the cost of buying your own equipment so yeah invest in equipment and you can use that same equipment to make money hiring it out to people who won't invest in equipment and people who just can't because other people don't invest in equipment for certain reasons maybe they're just starting out and you know, maybe there's a project that's come out of the blue and they really need the equipment. And yeah, so be the smart one. If you invest in equipment, trust me, you won't regret. It will take you far. Even if you don't use the equipment yourself to make films, someone else will use it and will need to use it. So yeah. Another way you can make money as a filmmaker in Zambia is through shooting of events, weddings and stuff like that. Although I will say this, Wedding, video mm, wedding videographers are not the same as filmmakers. Although filmmakers can be videographers, but not all videographers are filmmakers or are cinematographers. They're two very different things. But yeah, if you're a filmmaker and you're a cinematographer, you can probably make a lot of money shooting events because it's the same principle, same concepts, just like a little bit less artistic and more commercialized yeah so it's not difficult to switch from being a cinematographer to a 
videographer but it is quite different to switch from videography to cinematography so yeah you can make money doing events there are a lot of events there are always events and there are always people who need you to capture the memories of these things and yeah it's a good stream of income nine but i said rent equipment why did i put invest in equipment then rent in rent equipment as two different points um so i actually have 11 points because i wrote one point in two different ways so yeah the um 10th point skipping the ninth point is zambezi magic and yeah i know everyone was waiting for me to say this point there i said it zambezi magic you can make money as a filmmaker in zambia through zambezi magic as of now i think that's like where the biggest stream of income for filmmaking comes from in zambia correct me if i'm wrong you are free to correct me in the comments below yeah but yeah i personally feel like um zambezi magic is the hollywood of zambia like you've made it although i beg to differ like i feel like we could do more as a country but for now it's our best option to be honest so yeah how do you get to zambezi magic and how do you make money as a filmmaker with zambezi magic um they usually source for content and you can pitch to them that's as far as i will say about zambezi magic i don't know if you'll be picked or if it's a fair game to be honest there are a lot of rumors none confirmed that's all i'll say for zambezi magic they do calls for contents once in a while so yeah you can pitch to them you can if you have a connection you can talk through that connection but yeah that's how it usually is it's nothing set in stone there's no like formal way to pitch to them unless when the situation is when they ask for content but even then it's 50 it's actually not 50 50 it's like 70 or 80 20 so yeah, it's really just trying your luck with them, to be honest. There's no like science behind it. Unless you have a really powerful connection, which takes you back to that video I made for the dark side of the film industry in Zambia. Oh yeah, the 11th way you can make money as a filmmaker in Zambia. And this is after you've done everything else, like working for free, like building connections, like keeping in practice like keeping a lot in practice and having like a major major portfolio then you can do this you can start teaching filmmaking and yeah this is really good it's a really good way of making money as a filmmaker in zambia leveraging your experience and there's actually a lot to teach once you have a lot of experience and you've actually practiced a lot and it's worth paying for and it's worth listening to so yeah when you've done and you've worked and you've worked consider teaching filmmaking to other people other dreamers other young dreamers i myself went to a short film school and i paid for that and there were other people with me in that class who also paid for it so yeah it's actually a good source of income just hope you're not exploited if you're on the other end but yeah teaching filmmaking to other filmmakers especially since that there are no like formal 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 film schools in zambia is a good way to earn some money as a filmmaker number 12 premieres yeah this also but this is also to do with like event planning plan premieres or host premieres if you have a film if you've produced a film you can have a premiere sell tickets get the word out and yeah this also brings in sales marketing and all those other things that are not necessarily filmmaking but are connected to your film so i guess it's making money as a filmmaker in zambia so yeah, premieres could be a good source of income if done right yeah it's just that there are a lot of factors to it so yeah that was my last point of this video so in summary guys how to make money as a filmmaker work for free one two use your initiative and don't always wait for people to buy your content and say no the world is a bad place it's unfair use your initiative like get out there if they don't want to listen to you screaming their ears through platforms like facebook youtube you know 
get their attention do something keep in practice because at the end of the day there's something about consistency there's something about hard work which the the world just pays off you get so yeah be practical uh, deals are not going to follow you to your room to your bedroom at home I wish they did but they won't so yeah go out there make connections establish good working relationships work always give it your best work because you never know who's going to see that work of art and what do you get through that work of art and be patient with yourself with your craft with the process trust the process and work 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 okay so yeah this video is for all my filmmakers out there keep hustling it does start to pay off eventually trust me and yeah if you want to follow my filmmaking journey you can subscribe to my youtube channel follow me on facebook and um instagram so yeah you said subscribe already yeah i'll see you next time bye